I'll keep it brief because I know that you are smart. This is more like your wake up call. Why are you not posting on YouTube yet? It doesn't make sense at all. You know that YouTube is the undeniably the best social media platform for you to grow your business, generate more leads, generate more clients compared to any other social media platform. You are tired of seeing Iman Gaji, Ali Abdal, Charlie Morgan, Cardone, Patrick B. David, a Wes Watson, Ty Lopez, Gary V, Kevin David, or, or whatever is his name. Like, you are already tired of this. You know the type of like impact that these guys have been able to create, the type of money that these guys are making on a monthly basis, all because of the YouTube channels that they have created, all because of the YouTube audiences that they have been able to build. You know it, I know it, and Everyday Joe knows it as well. So why are you not posting on YouTube yet? Are you going to postpone it for another year? Just as you did last year? It doesn't make sense at all. So anyway, as I mentioned, this is again more like a wake up call. So because I know that we as business owners need not only the emotion, but also the logic to support our decisions. Let me give to you a few of the logical reasons why you as an entrepreneur or business owner should be posting on YouTube right now. The first reason is because of the compounding effect that YouTube gets. So as business owners, we are always looking for leverage. How can we put the minimum effort that will get us the highest output or the highest results possible? In YouTube, this exact like philosophy or, or formula applies, right? And the good thing is that YouTube compared to any other social media platforms has like the highest longevity per video posted. What do I mean by this? Every time you post a YouTube video, one week, one month, one year later, you'll see that the impressions that YouTube gets to your video compounds. It is more and more and more people that these videos that you are posting start to get pushed by the algorithm to your target audience. Now, you know, if you have been already posting on LinkedIn, on X, on Instagram, TikTok, when you post a video, 48 hours, 72 hours, 96 hours maximum, the decrease of the reach that your videos gets, it's dramatical, right? It's a huge decrease on the number of impressions and new views that your videos get. On YouTube, as I just mentioned, is the other way around. So every time that you're posting a video, you know that it will compound over time. You know that by the simple past of the time, your videos will get you better results for you in terms of views, lead generation, client acquisition. So this is what I mean by compounding effect of YouTube. The second reason is the mindset of the viewers that are on YouTube. You know that on TikTok, that on Instagram, people are just mindlessly scrolling, right? They get a hit of dopamine after dopamine after dopamine. They can watch your video. It can be a lead generation video. If you don't capture the attention immediately, you lose them forever. And they are like just in this rabbit hole or of scrolling. They will not even remember your offer, remember your face, remember your message after just a few scrollings more, right? On YouTube, otherwise, like this specific example that I just presented for TikTok, there are people just looking for mindless entertainment. On YouTube, people are usually looking more for education. Of course, get a little bit entertained, maybe a little bit of that emotional connection with the creators that they are watching, but they are also going with the mentality of how can I learn? How can I get educated? Especially in the B2B finance entrepreneurship space, right? So how can I learn more? How can I maybe buy? Because if I'm looking to learn something, I watch a video from you. You show me your expertise. You show me that you are competent on the area that I'm interested in and you present to me an offer that makes sense for me, I'll buy it. That's simply the mindset of the audience that is on YouTube. So that is a super powerful benefit that you has compared to any other social media platform and one of the reasons why you should be posting on YouTube right now. The third reason, super basic yet super important. YouTube, you probably already know this, is a search engine, meaning that when people actively look for a search term and your video pops, it means that you're attracting qualified traffic. But just because of the nature of SEO, that YouTube has as a search engine instead of other social media platforms. So just see it as an opportunity for you to attract higher quality people, higher intent leads for your business. The fourth reason, there is better conversion from audience to customers 
and at higher ticket prices. The reason lies in two things. One is like relates back to the point made earlier about it being a search engine, and you being a search engine so it attracts higher quality people. But the second thing is because since YouTube is a platform that allows you to post video, you can nurture your customers, your prospects, your target audience, like no other social media platform. They can get to feel your like that authentic you. They can get to listen to you, to see you, to get more educated on your offers, to get more educated on your company and you as a person. So they trust you more. They feel more compelled into actually buying your offers because they they also understand them better. So there's like that component of you getting to convert more people, like higher conversion rates and at higher prices. The fifth reason, and this one is very interesting by the way, and before getting into it, I just wanted to tell you also that in the description below, I put a three-page document that we recently wrote on what is our YouTube organic marketing strategy, how we deliver results for our clients, are we generating leads and clients for the services and offers of our clients. So if you might be interested in checking it out, feel free to go ahead and click the link in the description below. But anyway, the fifth reason is that basically you get to remove the sales calls from your entire process. Of course, this is not like a necessity. This is not like something that you'll necessarily do, but either you get to remove them or either you get to just make it way easier for your closers to close more people. Why I am saying this, if you take, for example, the case study of Wes Watson, he's doing, he's claiming to do between one to two million dollars per month with his full like pyramid or scheme or ecosystem of offers that includes some done with the offers so the consulting the coaching side of things some lower ticket stuff with the do-it-yourself type of courses and info products and he's virtually doing this with no sales calls each of the youtube videos are the salesmen for his programs and his courses and it ties back to what i was mentioning about the trust factor youtube is just <laughs> you know it, right? This is just so, so, so powerful when done in the right manner. Now, the other reason is that YouTube is a low competition platform compared to other social media platforms. And the reason that I say this is because if you think about it, compared to maybe Instagram, TikTok, there is a higher barrier of entry for YouTube because of lack of skills, because of lack of time, because of the perceived high effort that is required to produce YouTube videos. So there's really no much competition. Usually what I tell to people that maybe are just planning or thinking on getting started on YouTube is that if they observe and analyze how competitive are all of your social media platforms compared to YouTube, YouTube is still a blue ocean. It's an opportunity for entrepreneurs and business owners to still capitalize on it for getting clients and for making more sales and for growing their businesses. Another benefit or reason why you should be on YouTube if like all of the things that I have mentioned up until now have not been enough is the following. It is a pilot platform, which means that because of the nature of the long form content and because of the nature of it being video, audio and having like all of these components, you can use the content produced in YouTube and redistribute it across every other social media platform in case that you are considering like that omnipresence in your marketing strategy. So you post a YouTube video, you see what resonates, and then you take that audio and you post it on Spotify as a podcast. Then you take a few of the quotes that you may have said and naturally within your scripts, within your videos, and you post it as a community post on YouTube, and you also post it on X, and you also post it on a blog, and you also post it on LinkedIn, and maybe you use it as a caption on Instagram. And there's just so many things that can come out of each of your YouTube videos that just make it the perfect pilot platform for you to post your content on. And lastly, another benefit for you to consider if you are thinking on starting to, to post on YouTube is that there's still a lot of expectation in terms of the potential growth of the platform, of the creator economy, of the info products, of the business, of the entrepreneurship, on the consumers, on the users, on basically everything around like this, this industry and about this platform, right? More in the next few years, I can guarantee you that we'll have way more users than what we have now. That if I am correct, it's around 2 billion users that YouTube is, is having. Besides that, the creator economy is expected to grow more and more and more according to multiple platforms. You can see, for example, articles from Forbes. You can see articles from other like 
the quote-unquote prestigious magazines. So this is just like the perfect time for you to be on the content game, on the video content game, and specifically on YouTube. So anyway, I could ramble for these hours on top of hours, but I truly hope that these reasons make you, again, wake up, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, make you consider, not consider, just take action like immediately, make you grab your phone from your pocket and immediately record your first video. Whatever you want to talk about, talk about what are the, I don't know, do a video about one of the frequently asked questions from your target audience, those ones that you usually hear on a sales call that your prospect is asking you, or maybe on the research that you have done, or, or maybe on the knowledge that you have done about your IC, ideal customer profile, or maybe just record a video about your story, about your company, whatever is the message that you want to put out there, just go ahead and start recording and post it. I promise you that you will not regret at all to start posting on YouTube now if you haven't or pushing harder on YouTube if you are already posting. So anyway, that's about it. If you like the video, I hope that you can subscribe so that you can stay connected. Besides that, in the next three seconds, I'll recommend to you another very valuable video. So I invite you to go ahead and watch it. And yeah, having said that, I will see you there. Bye-bye. Take care.